What's up my folks? How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I get a, I got a phone call. I get messages and all from you guys a lot. I try to go through and catch them all too, man. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go over a few things. First one was, I'm gonna go ahead and get it out there. We got another Riri. This motherfucker's talking about purple ribbon this and that and all kinds of shit. I don't even think he knows what purple ribbon means. <laughs> uh, I think it, I think I could. Re it's how many generations the dog's been registered with the ADBA goober. Um, you can go back into these dogs' pets that come all the way back from the beginning of time, motherfucker. Since they keep keeping records, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I swear, man, I love how people get on there and promote shit, promote their shit, purple ribbon garbage. You know what's funny about that purple ribbon st theory is that, you know, they call them show dogs now. When we, uh, when we ADBA show, when we go to the shows, we win every time. Our little old game dogs beat the fuck out of your kind of bullshit. I mean, every fucking time we whoop them. I mean, not just whoop them. We be getting like best in shows and shit on their ass. So take that and blow it out your ass, Goober. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you know that purple ribbon bullshit. Come on. But uh, anyway, I want to talk to my uh, couple of my folks about a few things. Uh, I've had people talk about uh, dogs slipping collars. Let's walk over here and show you a little trick to that. All right, I'm going to show you you know, guys a little trick. It's probably going to save some of your dog's life. Them dogs that slip collars, get you a one-inch wide double ply, at least a double ply. Triple's even better. And uh, put it right there in front. Get enough where you can get two fingers through at least. Three's okay too. And get one where you can put three in the back with a wider collar. Sometimes two one-inch collars are better than a, uh, a, a two-inch collar. You understand know what I'm saying? Um, you'll get better. It'll hold him on there. He won't be able to back out of it. So if uh, you know, you're having one, I've had a few emails about that here in the last couple weeks. And uh, I thought I'd show you. I have to do it with him. A few of my dogs, I, I'll double ply them. When uh, the females are start coming, he, that's when they start acting up worse. Uh, I don't keep a bunch of dogs that hate each other near each other, so they're trying to get, get at each other's throats. You know what I'm saying? I keep all my dogs kind of scattered out. Put little pockets, five, six here, five, six there, five, six. You know what I mean? I don't like to pull, pull them all in a line. Um, I had a question about this little, if I was going to breed this little black bitch. No. No, she ain't getting bred. Um, we ain't doing that. She's she's still too young. This is her first heat even. So, no, hell no. But I'm going to let her have some fun and enjoy her life a little bit. But if she is good, I will be breeding her. I will be breeding her. Um, so, but not, not in no time soon. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, you guys that was asking this weekend, my kennel partner will be bringing... Um, rusty sister back and we're sticking her back to buster which are going to make these again like like bullet and tank and them dogs uh and this little bitch here and uh like them other ones the other ones in the litter you know there's a few of them good dogs but um anyway i've had oh and i had people several emails what's the ticket on these dogs uh really there ain't no ticket but i've had a few of them ask me say you know gotta have them what's the ticket real talk real talk i tell you what guys i mean if you can come and handle bullet and get him off the leash little old nice little old bullet look at him if you can handle him get him off that collar put him on another collar and leash him and walk him up and down the road and then put him up in the, in the pen and all by yourself i'll sell him i'll damn sure sell him to you but i want five stacks for him that's the least i'll take for him i won't take a dime less um i think he's gonna be worth every bit of that too watch and uh or you can wait until i breed uh rusty sister back to buster and get a pup for 600 at eight weeks old i mean but i've already got he's already grown about now and i've already put time in him and he's pretty much uh, he's a good deal you know to me i keep him i'd rather keep him for than take less than that for it and that's how i feel and uh you know so that's that's real talk y'all said y'all want to real talk with me about it that's real talk with you i mean some of you guys i can't not get back to, it won't let me email you back it's saying we'll not send something but uh so like the grape eight and a couple of you other guys that was asking about these dogs some of them i can't even email back and to the kid with that rifle those rifles 
the one that put what is this worth what are these worth i thought you were talking about dogs before i i took me a week to open that man i just opened it this morning i'm sorry about that i hope you didn't trade them rifles for an ar-10 and an ar-15 uh, clear your emails where you can talk to me about that those are custom built mausers your granddaddy had made man i know you say you want something more modern but dude it don't get no better than them man that's a 6.5 by 55 swede and a 7 by 57 mauser that's ideal perfect i mean no you can't get find ammo you can find ammo you just got to go to a, a gun shop or order it or whatever but trust me man don't get rid of them guns and that glass on the reason why they're willing to give you any ar-15 or ar-10 on the rack for them is because that glass is even worth them the scopes on them i mean no shit your dad put european off that's a savarsky bubble on each of them rifles nice ones even though they are 15 years old i guess they said they were 15 years old well it don't matter they're still worth a lot of money i bet they're still worth six seven hundred dollars each so and those those calibers are great don't don't let them tell you they're outdated and you need something more modern that's bullshit them are good fine fine ass rifles very fine rifles you you need my advice is be get some ammunition for them take them to the range and shoot them and then make your decision and plus your granddaddy had them built man i, I would shoot them first because i mean he built them them are guns are nice they are jeweled bolts and all they probably got good triggers probably super ass accurate with anything you feed them you better shoot them first before you make up a decision. That's all I'm saying. I think you're going to change your mind once you shoot them rigs. So, trust me on that one, Bubba. Anyway, oh, people were asking about the black and white bitch. All right, people were asking me if I thought she was pregnant. I just put her back in here this morning. She got an out and got filthy rolling in the dirt again. I'm going to need another bath. I got to take her in this day and clip her nails and wash her again. And uh, I'm gonna let her have them in this house. Yeah, I really think she's gonna have something now. I mean, she's starting to do the drop thing. So, you know, I'm gonna bring her on in and uh, let her stay inside here where I can keep an eye on her. But um, she's uh, if she's not pregnant, she's the best fucking actress I've ever seen. She needs a damn Emmy award or whatever they call it. But uh, I don't know how many she'll have and if she'll even whatever about it, but. I'm gonna give her the best chance I can with them. Um, and people are asking about people mean dogs. Come out here and talk to old Happy. Hey, Happy girl. But um, people are asking, I got, I don't know, I guess the man eaters have come up somewhere and people are talking about man eaters, asking me if I've, you know, dogs, man eaters. I've had a lot of man eaters, but well, I'm not really a lot. I've had a couple. Um, I had a whole litter full of them. One. There was only one dog that didn't turn out to be a fucking loony tech. But uh, a, a man eater and a dog that'll bite is two different things, man. Most dogs will bite. Most, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially when they like. I mean, like Buster. He used. To, he, if you're a stranger, you ain't gonna go fuck with Buster. I promise you. Even his old ass will gum you. You know, and and then my dogs probably will grow up like that. They probably won't really. Um, when they get a little more mature and get some fucking. Uh, some time in the woods and hammer a few hogs and get some balls up underneath them. They probably, uh, they probably be a little aggressive to people that they don't know. But as far as like eating people up from the, a man eater is different now. A man eater will fucking, you right when you walk in there with them, they just sometimes will just go in your ass. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you'd be trying to hang them, they'll just look up and start chewing up your arm and looking at you like, what's going on? Not not growling, not being, just bam, nailing your ass, shaking you. You know what I'm saying? That's a man eater. Uh, and it'll bite anybody, the owners, the family, anybody. Them, them are dangerous dogs, man. I don't care what the fuck. Them are dangerous dogs. Um, but uh, as far as like uh, a dog that'll bite, it, man, I'd say they got teeth. You know what I'm saying? Use your mind. I mean, but as far as like, does any line so more aggressive dogs than others no i don't think so i mean people say oh i've had i mean i've had some of the, the baddest little man eating bitches i had were paladin dogs the first one i ever had i went to I had a little puppy that i went to scold for pissing on the floor and uh i didn't like whip her or anything i just grabbed her up and said no and man when i picked her up i didn't squeeze her hard enough and i just picked her up to take her outside that bitch come on glued man she wasn't i don't know she might have been 10 weeks old and man she went to like running up my hand and arm and shit pop 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 and i was like you little crazy and she was she was a little man-eating bitch 
I ended up, I mean, she was no good, you know. And um, that's what a man eater is, you know, just they don't give a shit. And, and usually when they're real bad, they'll be bad as puppies. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now a lot of puppies will bite and chew. That's what you're at. Is my dog gonna be a biter? You know, you don't. I mean, puppies bite and chew and play rough and stuff. Don't take that as a sign. I'm talking about straight up aggression, dude. You'll know. You'll know. It'll be like a grown dog getting your ass. Trust me. I wish somebody would come get this bitch. She ain't no man eater. She's happy. She's happy girl. She's a happy girl. Yep. Playing with her bones all the time. I don't think she can bite hard enough to bust them. But she likes playing with them, burying them. That bitch buries bones. Like, for real, <laughs> it's funny. Somebody come get her. She's a neat little dog. I'm tired of feeding her. I got another bitch that'll take her spot anyway. Oh, yeah, and I had a, a question about the tricolor dogs. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Um, if I've ever had any or seen any. Yeah, man, I've seen them. I seen them before. Uh, I had them. I, I bred some one time up. Uh, they were real inbred off some midnight cowboy chivo blood. And uh, what I did is I took in a, I did a sire back to his daughter, his offspring. Then a brother with sister to pair of those. Then I took an offspring off of those and I went back to the original sire with it. And those puppies come out. There were some that come out like marked up like Rottweilers, but they were like a chocolate and a cream color. They even had the widow's peak on their head, you know, and um, they were good dogs themselves. Them, uh, it, they held good. They all had those good traits, good ability, good mouth, everything. And then when they got to the, the tricolored stage, we bred them again back to a an uncle it'd be an uncle you know what i'm saying but it was it really in the same family you know same shit and uh those pups didn't turn out so good you know what i'm saying those pups no we took him bred back to the sire that's what it was not the uncle we bred back to the sire i had the brother to him too but i bred back to the sire is what it was and uh those pups didn't turn out that good they come out like um they they weren't curs or nothing, but there was problems with them. They come out um they come out deaf. Some of them come out deaf, uh, stupid. You know, they lost their mouth. They lost a lot of their. They just weren't that good. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's like we eventually inbred until we had nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's what happened with them. But once we got past that point, I mean the uh, the offspring of that next litter didn't come out tricolored. They all come out uh, chocolate red nose or cream red nose you know what i'm saying and um is all that chivo i guess that shit's strong and that red gene in them but it caught it and they all come out like that and uh and then for litters before they all turn turn red from inbreeding i don't know why it turned red but i guess inbreeding them but uh you know it, it, the traits went back to to nothing i mean it's like the structure wasn't fucked on them or nothing. They were still structurally good, but they were having problems. You know what I'm saying? They were starting to have problems after that point. So, but yeah, I got them. And then when they, those actual tricolor dogs were good as shit. One of them was called Rusty. He was a hell of a dog. I mean, a hell of a fucking bulldog. But uh, if you went back in it again, it's like they lost something. You know, some of them lines, they can't handle that inbreeding like that. No, and I almost forgot. Um... The one that was asking me about rusty pups, if I was going to have any rusty pups. I am. I'm going to breed him. Um, we, this just happened. This, we just decided this a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm going to be taking him back to a dog and, uh, he's going to place, give me half the litter to, to place out, you know, with agreement that they'll be sold for just for $600 to good people, you know, they'll be ADBA registered. Um, but we're going to try him back. It's going to, um, we're going to try him back into a, a family of dogs that a fellow's got. Um, I, I'm hoping they'll be pretty good. Little red boy, you know, little red boy stuff in there, little Jeep, like like tab type cross with a Chinaman. It's red boy tab Chinaman dog, what it is. Well, he's bred. I mean, he's just his dogs. He's a bred all along, but some bitches might hit hard together. I mean, old pooter head here. If he can produce worth a shit. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, those will be, and I'll, I'll probably have a couple of those I'll let go. You know, we'll, we'll be letting them go. You know what I'm saying? He's half of the litter we're going to sell out of them. But, um, 
so yeah when they're born i'll i'll let y'all know about that y'all take care and keep on bulldogging